All right, we're going to work on this uh, Marlin 39. Um, I believe this is a 39A. <coughs> and been having trouble with it. Today I was shooting it and it was getting hung like right here and it wouldn't go either way. It wouldn't it wouldn't function and it would get hung one way and then it would get hung the other way and it was you know not functioning at all and so I'm going to show you what I did to solve that okay so we're going to put the safety off we've function we've uh, cleared it from any ammunition we're going to unscrew our big bolt here I loosened that earlier and then we're going to tap this on the table well might take it on the floor and it comes apart and by the way when you're tapping it like that it uh, is messing up your scope if you've got a scope on it and that's what I was doing today I was I was uh, lining it up when we were when it was doing this make sure y'all in the camera here and I'll function this for you so so you can see what the hell that little part just flew apart that's not good that's not good All right, let me show you what's, what we got here. This is your carrier, and it usually has this little silver part sticking out of that hole right there. And there's a little spring in there, and then, see if we can get you in on it. See a little spring sticking out there. And this portion, where is it? That portion sticks on top of the spring. I'll do this left handed. Like that. And it's usually sticking out of there. And today I was having trouble with it. And that goes on the back side. And this part's not supposed to come apart, I don't think. It goes on the back side. And I was having trouble with it. This little thing pushes up and down as you rotate your your lever across. It's it's what makes your bullet allows your bullet to come in comes in over here and then it picks it up as you rotate your lever the other way and it pushes it into the chamber. Well, this little piece was not pushing up and down and it's still not doing it real good. It was getting hung out here and what I did this initially. Oh, What I did initially, I, I think my problem was this little piece was coming coming out, you know, coming it was coming un uh, pressed on there. And what I did initially is I, it, it this little part was getting out of its little hole and hanging on top, wouldn't go down. And so what I did is I just took a a uh, lock washer. You can see there, and I used a punch, and I just opened up the lock washer. That this one's been is not opened up yet, but that one is opened up, and I just stuck it on, pushed this down, and stuck it on the back, and that kept my little pin down in there where it would work, and it worked pretty good. However, when I just took it apart, this thing come flying out, hit me in the head, and spring come flying out. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put this thing back together and attempt to rebrad this, press this back on and rebrad it um, so it will stay in there deeper. And that might have been my trouble all along. This thing was starting to come off. And I, I did notice that when I looked at it before, but I was kind of afraid to try to brad it back on there. Afraid I'd bend this thing. Um, well, we're at that point. This is a carrier 
and uh, if you find one of these you can just buy this whole thing and it comes with that in it but these have been discontinued so these are not available anymore you might can find a used one somewhere but this one has been discontinued um, so we're gonna have to fix this all right so I'll bring you back after we have worked on that a little bit all right I just come back from the shop I took this out there I put a piece of tape on this um, kind of this way mashed it down taped it down as flat as I could get it like I said just before we left we snapped that little uh, washer looking part on there and I took it out to my anvil and I clamped this part down so that it was sticking up as much as it would stick and I took a center punch and punched in the center a couple of times it was hard to, that's a little teeny thing hard to get right there in it and kind of was sliding off hitting the washer I was scared I was going to beat the washer up so much it wouldn't work so then I took my little teeny little hammer here and while it was still clamped down I beat on the top of that and tried to mushroom that piece out and that seems to have got it back on there for the moment I don't know how long it'll stay but it is functioning a lot better it's not getting stuck which is what it was doing before it was coming up it's sticking out too much um, and when you would run your lever across this inside the gun of course it, the lever goes across like this and this picks up or down I forget which one and then it comes back like that across this upper groove um, so at first one it goes across this way and then it comes back it comes across that way in those two grooves there and uh, I did notice when I took this apart the first time I had a pretty good little chip out of this and I don't know if that was just a you know something from manufacturer or just wear and tear so I did file it just a tiny bit and I polished it up with some 600 grit and there was a little burr on these corners probably from this thing getting kind of hung and me whittling on it over the years and just didn't know what was going on it, it didn't get hung like it did today except till today but this has got it pretty good so we're going to stick her back together and give it a shot see if it'll work now and hopefully that'll that'll be the the trick to it and if yours is sticking up proud and not pushing in and out real easy turn it over and clamp it down on something where that's sticking up and take you a little teeny ball peen hammer and beat on the top of this you're trying to hit the not the washer necessarily but the the center there or take a center punch and try to punch it if you get a good sharp center punch it might work mine wasn't quite good enough didn't look like um, but we're going to stick this thing back together if I don't lose all the pieces first and uh, see if it'll see if it'll work all right turn it away right away so this one goes to this Show y'all best I can with my big paws in the way. And we just want these snug, don't have to try to strip them or anything. Just checking that should slide up down in that slot 
and you like I said your your bullets will come in off your tube here and then when you rack your lever it pushes them up and, and pushes the pushes it into the chamber and the way I put these levers back on it has a long screw for this purpose as far as I know I'll get the screw to line up too tight so he's kind of loose this little spring here right here get y'all more closer right there's a little spring and it's got to be fried up on top of this here thing so we're going to do that He says it ain't too bad, but apparently I've been lucky the few other times I hadn't had any trouble with this part. Let's try her again. See if I'm doing something totally wrong here. Let's go all the way back up. There it's cold. Just pulled that little, pull that little spring up on this part here. And like I said, prior to now, it wasn't too big an issue. Just snug your, snug your screw down. see if it functions. Can you see what that little piece does? And prior to this it would hang, it wouldn't, this part would get stuck right there and it wouldn't go any farther than that or if you got it by it would get hung coming back, it wouldn't go any farther than that. And that was all due to that little piece not pushing up and down correctly. And like I said, they've discontinued this whole section, so I have a feeling if you got trouble with this, you're going to have to fix it. So, not, other than the spring hanging me up, this is not a too bad of a fix. Um, like I say, just used a little teeny hammer, a little ball peen hammer, and uh, clamped it. The tape worked pretty good, clamped it down to the, to the vise where this... This side was actually on the vise and pushed in as far as I could get it clamped in and beat on the other side a little bit. So I'm gonna stick this gun back together and we're gonna we're gonna function it a little bit and see if it'll work. Make sure I was taping. Put this back together. It's a little lip on this part right here. Maybe I'll get it all on the camera. A little lip right there on that part. We're just gonna stick it back in these here. Kind of goes where you would think it would go. And I kind of wiggle it a little bit to make sure that part's loose.
and it kind of snugs back together and then you start your screw and that will pull that gun back together supposed to everything is lining up right let's see if we get a pretty good pretty good gap in it right there Move this stuff out the way so I can lay it down. And it, nothing on this should be turning hard. If it turns crazy hard, you're doing something wrong. So you got to turn it crazy hard. It's not there. It just kind of fell back into place. You saw it. It snowed a little bit. And on this, I generally snug it all the way hard, and then I'll back it up a little bit and just get it basically finger tight. If you tighten that too much, if you ever have trouble with this not functioning at all, loosen this just a snug, just a little teeny bit, and it should just be finger tight, basically. And then we'll function check this thing, make sure she's working. Looks good. And... rounds in it just to make sure that that's, that that's going to work. safe which it is and we're going to function check it here and see if it'll work kick them rounds out there's one there's two there's three so that's working all right we're going to call that a success tomorrow i'm going to take it back outside and we're going to line her back up i had her shooting dead center today before all this happened and had to bump it when you take it apart it bump you bump it and that probably is going to mess that scoop up anyhow hope this helps y'all and this is a, a marlin 39 i believe it's an a that's a, it's a marlin 39 and there's a couple versions of that carrier one version doesn't have that little bump on it that we've been working on one version has a bigger spring it's a longer spring so if you have that version this film won't help you but uh, the little, the ones with the little, for better word, bump is gonna is gonna be very helpful. Anyway, thank you a lot. Bye bye.